In this video, I will share three quick tips that will help you save time with Google Analytics 4. The first time saver is keyboard shortcuts. Open your Google Analytics 4 property and hit shift and question mark at the same time. This will open currently supported keyboard shortcuts. Most of them right now when I'm recording this video are related to date range, but you can quickly switch between, let's say, today's data, yesterday's data, last week, seven days, and so on. For example, now if I click DT, this will show me today's data. Of course, this is a demo property, so I don't have any real data. But for example, if I want to see the data from the last seven days, I can press D, then W, and this will show me data from the last week. If I want to see the data of the last seven days, then I can click D7 and so on. I don't know if Google Analytics will add more keyboard shortcuts in the future, but you can always check that by holding shift and question mark at the same time. Or if your keyboard language or layout is different, maybe you have a key that will type the question mark without holding the shift. But in my case, I have to hold the shift and another button, which will result in this question mark. Then another time saver is if, for example, you have some report in the standard reports and you want to dive deeper and have the same metrics and dimensions in explorations. So if you want to do that, then when you have opened the report, click edit comparisons and then click explore. Google Analytics will then try to recreate that report with the same metrics and dimensions. However, some metrics or dimensions might not be available in explorations, so those will be left out. But in most cases, this should work fine. And the last time saver is more of a hack, but since this feature is not available in Google Analytics 4, this is like a workaround. So in Universal Analytics, we were able to select a segment and then that segment would persist across multiple reports. In Google Analytics 4, comparisons are designed for that. So for example, if I want to see data only coming from, let's say session default channel group, which is referral, then I can click OK, apply, and then that comparison will be applied to all standard reports as I navigate between them. But the problem with this is that these comparisons are not saved anywhere. So if I come back to Google Analytics tomorrow, I will once again start seeing data of all visitors and I would need to create that comparison from scratch. But if you have several comparisons that you often use, for example, you want to see organic traffic or referral traffic or maybe something else, you could actually bookmark those comparisons and then use them every time you need just with a couple of clicks. So here's one example. Let's say that I will edit this comparison and I will change it from referral to organic search. Of course, right now I don't have data, so this will probably show zeros. Yes, it does. But here's the thing. Now the settings of this comparison are stored in the URL. Of course, one of the things that is also stored in the URL is the name of the property, but this is not a big problem. So now if you have this particular comparison, you can click on this star or whatever you have in your browser if you're not using Chrome. So you can click this and then you could, for example, click more and come up with a new folder, which is called GA4 comparisons. Save this and then in this folder, I could in fact even rename this particular report to organic search comparisons or something like that and click save. So now if I close this, if I go to another property, for example, this one, then I could quickly click here and then that will be added here. The only caveat of this solution is that the URL of your bookmark also includes the ID probably of the GA4 property. So from the testing property, I was moved back to the live where I created this bookmark. But then if I wanted, I could quickly click here, go to another property, and then that comparison will still be here. So instead of having to click add comparison, then enter the rules and apply every time, you could just quickly click here. And then after that click, select the correct property and that comparison will be applied to your report.
However, keep in mind that comparisons apply only to standard reports. And if you want to apply this particular comparison to explorations, you will not be able to do that. And that's the end of this tutorial. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.